Hi, in this video tutorial, you will learn what is Power Apps, what is Power Automate, their key differences, and how they complement each other to create powerful solutions. I will even show you that in action with a Power Apps application integrated with a Power Automate flow. My name is O'Keefe, and you are in Power Apps Land. Okay, so first let's talk about Power Apps. What is Power Apps? Power Apps is a low code application development tool. You can use it to build custom apps without needing to be a professional software developer. With drag and drop design and built in data connections, you can create mobile and desktop apps fast. Here are a couple examples of apps built with Power Apps. So this is a service desk app. I'm in the design studio. Here you can see the screens of the app. And if you play the app, here you can see tickets, new tickets, tickets in progress, the number of tickets, how many are in progress, how many closed. Here's another app, a budget tracker app. You can take a look here, see the screens of the app. If you move from one screen to another, you can Go to data and see the data sources that were used to provide data for the app. If I run it, I can see budget, how much was spent, how much is remaining. There's also a chart. You can see the breakdown of expenses. So these are the kind of apps that you can create with Power Apps. You can design them as you wish for the functionality that you want and then the users can interact with your app. And to create apps, you go to make.powerapps.com. Now, what is Power Automate? Power Automate is a tool to create automated workflows. It lets you automate repetitive tasks like sending emails, moving data between systems, or getting approval from your manager. Here are a few examples of automation flows that can be created with Power Automate. This flow sends an email notification when a new file is uploaded to OneDrive. So I have this action here that detects when a new file is created in this folder in OneDrive. And once that happens, it sends an email notification to this email address with this content. So let me run this example for you to see. Here is OneDrive, and this is the folder. I'm going to upload a file to this folder. The new file was uploaded. When that happens, the flow is triggered here. I can click in the flow execution, take a look and see that it was successful. And then if I check the emails, I received this email just as configured in the flow. So this becomes an automated process that happens whenever a new file is uploaded to that folder. Now another example. This other flow I created to copy content from SharePoint to Dataverse. So this flow is manually triggered. So I started when I want it. And what it will do is that it will copy the data from this list called car service from this SharePoint site which is this one, car service list, has this content, has more than 2,000 records, 2,134 records. It will read through each of those records in this apply to each loop and add them as a new row in a table called car services in Dataverse. And here I do the mapping. As a result, here is the car service Dataverse table which also has 2,134 records, the exact same records with the same content. So that's another way of using Power Automate to automate tasks. Both Power Apps and Power Automate are tools that belong to the Microsoft Power Platform. Microsoft Power Platform is a suite of low-code tools to create custom solutions. It includes not only Power Apps and Power Automate, but also Power BI, Power Pages, and Copilot Studio. Power BI for business analytics and dashboards, Power Apps for application development, 
are automated for automation, power pages to create external facing websites, and Copilot Studio to create AI agents. So what are the main differences between Power Apps and Power Automate? Here are three key points. Purpose. Power Apps is for user interfaces, apps that people can interact with. Power Automate is for automation. It's processes that run in the background. User interaction. Power Apps requires user input. Power Automate can work entirely in the background, sometimes triggered by another app or in a scheduled date time. Use cases. Use Power Apps when you need a form, button, or screens. Use Power Automate when you need to connect systems or automate multi-step repetitive tasks. And how do you work together? The magic really happens when you combine them. You can trigger a Power Automate flow from Power Apps. For instance, if you watched my other video about Power Apps delegation, you will learn that Power Apps has a limit of 2,000 records for non-delegable queries. The data row limit by default is 500, and you can increase up to 2,000. Not more than that. If I try more than that, I get this error message. I'm going to leave here at the default value. If you haven't watched that video, the link will be here at the end, at the end of this video. So here, I have this gallery. If I go to the items property of the gallery, it is getting its data using the search function, reading data from the car service SharePoint list, which, as I showed you, has more than 2,000 records. And there it is searching for the records that have the value car for vehicle type, which is every record. So here it should show 2,134 records. But because of the delegation limit in Power Apps, it can display just 500. And if I scroll down here all the way to the end, when it gets to 500, no more records are retrieved. So as I mentioned, you could go to settings and increase this limit up to 2,000, but not more than that. What if you have more than 2,000 records? So one way is to use Power Automate. There are different ways, and I covered that in the delegation video. But one way that I want to cover here in this one is Power Automate and show how Power Apps integrated with Power Automate can achieve great results. So here in this other screen, I created a second gallery, which is the exact same gallery, but instead this gallery, the data source for this gallery is Car Results Collection. And Car Results Collection is created on the on start property of the app, which is executed when the app just starts. And what it does is that it creates the car results collection. And the formula in this property creates the car results collection. And it populates it running a Power Automate flow, which is called get cars from car service run, which is this exact flow right here that is triggered by Power Apps. And what it does is that it does a get items action that goes to the car service list. Then it executes a select action, which does a mapping, creating the ID car and customer fields, populating them with the data from the ID car customer fields from SharePoint. And then it responds to Power Apps in a JSON format, the outputs from the select. So this is the flow. And then here in Power Apps, when that JSON is returned, it is parsed to a table and it creates the ID car and customer columns in the table with the respective values that come from the JSON. And that is the car results collection that is used as the data source for this second gallery. And you see, now it retrieved all of the 2,134 records. In other words, 
The main difference between Power Apps and Power Automate is that Power Apps builds the front end, what the users see, and Power Automate can be used to handle automated back end tasks that happens behind the scenes. And together, they are a powerful combo in Microsoft's Power Platform. Hey, if you like this video, please click like. And if you want to learn more about Power Apps, please subscribe.